crazy. Now that's what, nine ninety five US. Do all about the Capes and Lunatics Patreon. Get early access to all of our interviews, including the monthly Chichester chats with writer and comic book legend DG Chichester. New episodes of classic Capes and Lunatics shows, including the Quantum Zone, this that or the third, and many, many more specials, all completely uncensored. Access starts for three dollars a month. Full video when you pledge five dollars a month. Check out the link in our show notes or go to patreon.com slash capes and lunatics. Hope to see you there. This is DG Chichester, and you're listening to the Capes and Lunatics podcast. All right, kids, we're finally here. The episode we promised you. Yes, it's Silver Sable, but guess who else is here? <laughs> Got a special guest here on Marvel Tales. For the first time. Oh, yes. So, yes, not me. I am Phil. Not him. That's... <laughs> Silver Owl. Just in the Owl. <laughs> <laughs> and Jack N joining us for the first time on Marvel Tales, the High Priest of Conchu. I don't know why it took him this long. Ray. <laughs> hey, Ray. Hey, hello. Hey, how you going, everybody? Oh, I know why oh, it took I... him so long. He finally put down the Marvel Snap. It's Ray. Oh, it's <laughs> Snap. <laughs> <laughs> Although this is aiding into my game, Tom, I've got to tell you. Anyway. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, very, very honoured to be on the show. Um, I, I love to arrive at Marvel Tales. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. It's so <laughs> sweet. What is that? I think we've got I some new know. drops. <laughs> <laughs> We can put that at the start of every show. Oh, I mean, I have plenty of ray. I have plenty of ray drops. Okay, sex on the mind. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, this. Uh, yeah. So we yeah, we were just talking about the. Uh, we're talking the first three issues of Silver Sable. Yeah, that's what we were just talking about the last at the end of the last episode, right? It's like yeah, two dollar two dollar issue, and you got the <sighs> nice shiny embossed cover, and it's so yeah. shiny. I've got mine as well. It's not here, but I do have a copy of. I, I, I collected about, I think, about the first ten issues. I, I didn't go the whole way. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. I, was, I didn't yeah. either. I think I got up to eighteen or nineteen somewhere in that oh, vicinity. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, just just kicking off now. You know, I just love to get it off my chest. It was when this first came out. I, I, be honest, I wasn't too impressed with it I, and i was thinking about it while i was rereading these and i thought back in the day as i sound like an old man back in the 90s when this came out and this was during the whole hoo-ha of embossed covers and gimmicky mm. covers so yep. of course you justin phil and myself of course we picked it up because we were riding yeah. that wave but sure. i think what yeah, I think what really detracted me from this when I was reading, and not detracted, just like I was left indifferent, was because there was no real like wow factor. Like we had the X Men, the way you know superhero superpowers, and everything was like uh, fantastic, you know, in the sense. Mm -hmm. Silver Sable was very grounded, and look, mind you as well. I mean, I've I collected the Punisher, and you know, obviously Moon Knight back in the day, but Silver Sable, it was just kind of. Um, I don't know, mercs or soldiers doing their mm. thing, and there was nothing really like supernatural or superhuman to what mm. they were doing. Mm. It, and I think that's what made it a little bit boring for me back in the nineties. But having said that, and I want to ask you guys, rereading issues one to three, I absolutely really dug it. I really enjoyed mm. it. It was there were some little bits in it that were kind of tongue in cheek and um, were obviously trying to portray Silver Sable in a different light as opposed to other characters or female characters. But, yeah, mm -hmm. what, what did you guys think? Uh, I, I mean, Ray, tell me you weren't wowed. I know what age you were, the same age as me. You were wowed. Uh, but, oh, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, I just remember reading this uh, the, for the first time in the 90s. I'm like, man, why is she so mean to the people she works for, you know, the people who work for her yeah. and stuff and just, thought, you know, they were trying to make her the no-nonsense. But they they were trying to get in. I mean, we'll get into this stuff. This like the first issue with the uh, – they call her 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 niece or whatever, but it's actually like her cousin, mm. like you know, trying to like show that there is like another side to Silver Sable and stuff. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, 
But like I, I read it, rereading this now, like thirty years later, I did get like more than I did before. So it, mm. yeah, it's th- there's more here than I than I originally thought. Probably more than you originally thought too, Ray. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. yeah. Yeah, I agree too. I mean, especially like the stuff in issues two and three with the terrorist group. Mm-hmm. Like that's very topical now. Like the, I could easily mm. see that storyline being uh, kind of adapted and and. Uh, modified a little bit but it would totally work today in a 2023 comic book uh, um so oh, yeah, yeah I, I really like that yeah and like religion and like mm, you know, yeah, pro-life from I mean, choice yeah. yeah yeah all that yeah, stuff that was... the, the, with the watchdogs and things like uh, another great uh mark grunewald creation too by the way mm-hmm. mm. oh, yeah. Mark, yeah. mark grunewald fans here Oh, speak, um, speak, speaking of we'll get the battle star uh battle star yeah, yeah battle star yeah, and definitely. what i was uh, pleasantly surprised and reminded of was the foreigner as well. <laughs> uh, the X, <laughs> yeah, the X. It was so cool. And it's like, oh, I, I killed him last. Oh, he killed me last time. Oh, I yeah. killed him this time. We don't he even kicked know him out a window. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was the most hilarious <laughs> ending to a to a and, conversation. <laughs> and I mean, come on, that ha- that's relatable to everybody. I don't, <clears throat> I don't care if you're a man, a woman, what your orientation is. There, you, yes. know, you, have, you have at least one X you wanted to kick out a window. Absolutely, <laughs> multiple times, multiple <laughs> times. And if they well, sent me still- a thing of roses, I would have thrown them out the window and shot them too, like she did. <laughs> <laughs> well, there, there was still a bit of chemistry between them we saw as well. And what I, mm. I liked was uh, they went in for the kiss towards the end. Yes. And at the last second, Silver Sable is the one that throws the foreigner on his back and gives him a yeah. kiss. So, yes. Uh, I, becomes, yeah. I just love those, yeah, those little touches which kind of uh, subvert, you know, your mm. expectations of the old generic and the, yeah, yeah. Yeah, definitely. And again, another ni- thing in the 90s, uh, I mean, we haven't seen since is, uh, yes, we get uh, the reform Sandman on, as part of this. Yeah, you know, Sandman's like a cast member. It seems like he's almost like her second in command here because. Mm. Well, you, I think. I I thi- that. Yeah, well, I think he's that he's probably in there to kind of remind us that, you know, they are in a Marvel universe and he's mm-hmm. the only one really with, with the big superpowers. I mean, we even get like, what's his name? Gatling as the arch nemesis in the mm-hmm. next two issues, but he's really, I mean, he's still a guy just really in a suit with guns. With guns um, so, yeah. yeah. So Sandman's the only one. And, and I love it. You see him use his, his ability to disguise himself, to create a defensive wall, that sort of stuff. So mm-hmm. he, he does bring that element. But, yeah, I mean, just going back to my first point, it was um, it was very different back in the 90s because she was the book was focusing on the wall pack as well. And, and I guess um, uh, Gregory Wright had to try and establish them, um, mm-hmm. you, you know, better. So it, it, just for me, though, their personalities, I mean, we get the crippler, later on he's he's pretty cool but they're all kind of the same mold um is it mm. is it powell i can't remember the guy's name is there yeah, really powell. yeah with the yeah, ponytail yeah. yeah ponytail with powell. the with the ponytail yeah. powell <laughs> yeah. um they're all kind of that really raw um uncouth yeah. kind of yeah. yeah early 90s tough guy wearing yeah. leather and spitting in people's faces type of vibe yeah but yeah. I, but I, i'm sorry i was gonna say but i guess like you can't have like too nice of a guys because i mean they are merc mm. supposed to be merc right yeah 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 well th- there's a thing as well i mean talking about like really going for it uh pal uh, was a member of the ku klux klan yeah and oh yeah and he's, he's, like, he's he, like the bodyguard for like he's the, a bodyguard for the grand yeah. wizard yeah which is a really <laughs> not yeah. something that you really want to brag about to people <laughs> Yeah, because I know yeah. no, 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 like, like the rest of the issues and like see what, what uh, Gregory yeah. Wright does with this because you know once mm. Battlestar walks in and he's like, yeah. why are you staring at me like that? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. some, some then, obvious yeah. animosity. Yeah, yeah, and Silver Sable pairs them together, so it's like what the. <laughs> <laughs> <You know? laughs> um, I just want to also mention just little notes here and there. Uh, a lot of kicking in the balls. I thought was really yes. funny. Um, happened in that. issue one, issue three. So it only you know yeah. <laughs> every alternate issue we get kicking the nads. So yeah, um, 
I think that yeah. continues throughout the series. If oh, I'm does not it? Oh, gosh, <laughs> bit of slapstick, bit of cringe factor for the guys. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I know all those shots right to the spider babies. You know the spider babies. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. Um, but I mean, look, going back to the, uh, of course, actually, looking, I'm just uh, got flicking through issue one. We also get Peter Parker, Spider Man. So, yeah, we got the, the, well, yeah, I mean, to It's the 90s, it's your first issue. Yeah, you got to have a you have to, you have to bring in, you know, the big brother that will pull Absolutely. in people. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, at least yeah, here that, it kind of makes nice. sense because that's where she first showed up is in the Spider Man. Right. And that yeah. was one of my favorite sure. Spider Man stories, actually, where she appeared with. And and Sandman became involved in that as well. It was them versus the Sinister Syndicate. Yes, a, a two issue yeah. story, and it was just an all out battle for the whole time. Them fighting in this old abandoned amusement park. Uh, Which title was that? Uh, it was, I think was Amazing a... Spider Man. Yeah, it was around. Okay. It might have been like two eighty or so. It was around there. Yeah, okay. yeah. I think because yeah. I. I... I remember more Silver Sable in the backup stories for the annuals as well. She was, oh, she was right. featured a lot there. Yeah. Yes. The Spectacular Spider-Man annuals, mm -hmm. I think. Um, yeah. And that's where she kind of uh, gets introduced to Sandman. I think Willow the Wisp was in there at one stage. I don't know I what happened so to him. I think so too, yeah. yeah. So she was bringing her posse long. together. Yeah. Yeah, slowly. Rocket behind Racer. Behind the scenes. Oh, Rocket yeah, 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 yeah. Cause, yeah cause the Outlaws. Loth yeah. and I are talking, going to be talking <laughs> about right. stuff around that era. We said we want, we need to do uh, Web of Spider-Man 50, where, yeah, they put together the that 50, Outlaws yeah. team. Yeah, it's like... With the Prowler you know, and, and Sandman, Puma. Prowler, Rocket Racer. Oh, yeah, yeah Classic that. characters. Where are it's they so now, good. huh? Where are they now? Yeah, whatever Where's happened Puma? to Will of the Wisp? <laughs> Will of the Wisp and um, Puma. What's his name? Uh, not Lionheart. What is his surname? Puma. Um, uh, Thomas Puma. Fireheart. Puma. Fireheart. Yeah. 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 Mm. yeah. Classic. Yeah. Also a biscuit. Yeah. Oh, I, <laughs> oh he is. <laughs> Mine, yes. Well, yes. <laughs> He's no Namor, but yeah. He's no Namor, man. but it's still on the biscuit list. <laughs> but yeah, I forgot. I forgot when this issue one came out, they had that they did a reprint of her first appearance from Amazing Spider-Man oh. 265, where you know, it is like the Black Fox. She was chasing the Black the Fox. Fox. Ah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's yeah. a good one. Oh, he was always fun. I'm an old man, don't hate me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The mentor of the black cat, right? That oh. they later. Yeah, I yeah. love that link. That's so good. Yeah, that, that was good. Um, and and gets featured on a, a lot more in Jed McKay's uh, yes. Black Cat. Yeah, very very yeah. important there as well. Love that. Makes me so um, happy. Hold on, Ray. I think you dropped this name. Uh, <laughs> wait for him to say, "Yes, uh, friend of the show, Jed McKay." Friend of the show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, look, another thing I think about Silver Sable, and and you touched upon it, Justin, as well, is um. She's very like thorough, like, mm. and I guess there's a a risk there of you make a character uninteresting by having them just be like, like too good and a bit bland. I mean, uh, not to not to say that she's because they because Wright does try to inject a few more things in there, but she really is for all intents like unbeatable. Like there's mm -hmm. uh, towards issue three, the wild pack are just in awe that she beats the rest of. Um, uh, a, God, what are the dogs called again? Watchdogs. Watchdogs. Like, um, yeah. yeah, like they're all astounded, and she goes off at them because, like, I was, out, I wanted back up. You know, you meant it could be here, but you, and you let the guy go, and all this sort of stuff. But she handled it like with yeah. a total of plume. So, uh, and, and in issue one as well, she's like, you know, right from the outset, what looks like mm -hmm. a, a fracas uh, is a training kind of drill, and she's just hammering each and every one of them. Um, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, like it's a walk in the park. Yeah, she's yeah. Like breaking a sweat, beating up all of these guys. Yeah, you say like what? Um, th there was something significant that happened to her. Um, oh god, I'm trying to remember it. She got like severely burnt or injured. Is that correct? Um, oh, it was yeah. I think you were telling me about yeah. that. Yeah, she wasn't she in a vehicle that exploded or something or mm. involved yeah, it in was, an explosion. Uh, and she it was, was with a Spider-Man villain. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you, um, mean, you mean uh, later on uh, when they it, they thought she was dead for a while, like she was like yeah. they thought she drowned. What was it? With the, was it with the Rhino or something? Yes, yeah, Rhino. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I the thought Rhino. It was, oh. it was with a villain. Yeah, I knew that. Yeah, in the sewers somewhere. Yeah, 
yeah, this was probably yeah. around like 2010 or so. Uh, yeah. yeah, it was like a while after hmm. this. Yeah. 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 But I mean, just wondering about her, her current whereabouts because, um, just yeah, 2010 and just pushing forward, there was an amazing one shot, um, which yeah, totally was... bamboozled me. Like it just ambushed me. Uh, I'd say it's what, 20, maybe 2017, 2018, I think. I remember that. Came one. out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that was beautifully a good one. drawn. Yeah, yeah, and just a one one shot. It was it was really good. Um, so very much in keeping with I think this series about her just being full on kick ass. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, there was uh, you know where she was just recently um, in the Venom Lethal Protector two miniseries. Uh, oh, okay. Where it's like, it, well, it's set in the nineties, but yeah, that's like uh, yeah, okay, yeah, okay. yeah. Cool. She, like, oh, she like cool. hired Eddie Brock to work for her for a while, and oh, neat. Yeah, yeah. I'll have to read that. Yeah, do Doctor yeah, Doom's nice. in there too. So yeah, it's oh, cool. Yeah, pretty good. Um, but sorry, yeah, just um tracking back to this. Uh yeah, I mean first issue was was pretty standard as in like getting you know, getting us setting up the 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 team um mm -hmm. and kind of giving us a flavor about what Silver Sable is all about. Um oh yeah, I just feel sorry for Sandman. He's he gets rattled on all the time. He's he's one of my fat actually I'd have to say I do like him. I, I enjoy him as a villain, but um, it's, like, it's pretty cool that he he gets to go onto the good side every now and again. Yeah. You know, as I an like Avenger and all that. So, yeah, 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 he even became an Avenger at one point. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's one point part in issue number one that I'd forgotten about when they kill the girl. Uh, when the high, the high yes, guys yeah. are, um, they have all the girls captive and then send the a message. Says, to um, them. Yeah. yeah, kill one of the girls and throw her out the window for the police to see, and they they haul one of the girls away and then off panel you hear uh slash they didn't like shoot her they went straight to slice and they killed they like stabbed her yeah. up and then threw out the window i was like wow that's heavy yeah. for, <laughs> it for is... this type of a comic book i wasn't expecting that that surprised me yeah that's you're right i, I was totally taken by that just how far they're willing to go i mean mm. i mean this is hydra and they're not messing around yeah. grant granted but it's Still, pretty, I mean, it's pretty kill, killing, killing little girls, yeah. like, yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's another side of the at, at least it was off panel, you, you know, right? <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, but yeah, it was, um, yeah, that, that kind of shocked me. Definitely. I don't know, I mean, I mean, you wouldn't think so, but I think some it's some of the stuff that the 90s they did, did make them tone down because I know, uh. The one story we were taught, me and Lil were talking to Gigi Chichester about. I think they, he said the editor told him like tone down the blood and stuff. Oh. Uh, it's like that Surgeon okay. General story from Daredevil. They're like, yeah, yeah, you can't okay. go with too yeah. gory. Or, so oh, yeah, the Surgeon General, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so they, I think they, uh, yeah, you know, it's like you know a character who's stealing uh, organs and stuff. So it was like <laughs> they were like, hey, you need to tone down. So even though it may not seem like it in the nineties, yeah, they did have some standards. We're like, no, you can't do that. You got to tone that mm. down. Mm. Well, the yeah. comics code was still in. Effect, yeah. yeah. So they had that looming over their heads all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, also want to call out the art as well. Steve Butler mm. from, yes. from the Spider-Man pages. Uh, very cool. Mm. Like, very like good. It, it is it's solid art. Like it's, it's decent. You know, if you were, or, or when we did in the nineties, pick it up, you, you really don't know what you're going to get. And uh, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. It, it's very good. Very well drawn. So and it's very consistent. They stay with this book mm. for quite a while. Okay, um, and right. the quality doesn't go down. It's it stays it's consistently a full, good. Full thirty-five issues, right? It, it's a pretty sizable mm -hmm. run. I think so, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know if the I mean they would stay, stay for the whole run, but from a good chunk of it, anyways. Yeah, I mean they were doing Phil. You know they were doing sixty issue runs back then. So yeah, I guess this is what, not yeah. not too much. So that's but, what I was gonna say. Yeah. I'm like today. I mean they were willing to give characters like uh, somewhat lengthy runs. Yeah, Silver Sable got mm -hmm. like thirty five. Like you know Quasar and Moon Knight got sixty issue yeah. runs and stuff. Sixty yeah. issues. Yeah, yeah. I remember too I mean, at we... the time ninety two. It was rare to see like a female led mm. superhero book too. A monthly, a regular monthly one. I was trying yeah, to think right. back of like around this time, however many I think there were maybe only She Hulk. Yeah. yeah. There um, wasn't even a, there wasn't even Miss Marvel, right? That was later on. I don't recall any Miss Marvel. Yeah, because Carol Day well, she had like one earlier, like in the seventies and stuff, but yeah, that was but over. Her, yeah. 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 Not in the nineties. No, no Black Widow. Like she was just no. part of the team. She yeah, wasn't the no, no Scarlet. She wasn't like big. Yeah, no. No Scarlet. Um, Witch, uh, yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, she did have it, it was, in the eighties, right? Yeah. yeah. You know I what? They, some, just, of them you know. They, some of them they gave like mini series and stuff too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, no, like ongoing. Not like not even like the female X Men or anything. Yeah, yeah. Lip service, lip service, Phil. Just give them, give them a mini. That's you know that will satiate <laughs> yeah. you know any calls for yeah no, it, which is really strange um, to think about really because all those strong characters that we do have, and you got to thank, you know, you do have to thank I think the MCU for a lot of, a lot of it mm-hmm. as well. Um, yes. Okay. Yeah, they they did elevate a lot of the the characters, yeah. which is great. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, because I was about to say, yeah, you bring up a point where it's like, yeah, none of these like fem- big female characters got an ongoing at this point. So I'm like, how did they talk? How did they talk anyone in the get- given silver save? You know, silver yeah. sable being the yeah. one. But look at the first page. It's like, uh, f- well, silver yeah. sable created by Tom DeFelco and uh, Ron Friends. And Ron <laughs> Friends. <laughs> yeah. DeFelco. Okay. Okay. I'm yeah. Not, yeah. I think I'm seeing uh, the reason here. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah, right, Justin. It's probably only the X X um, characters, the X Men characters, but it was because they were selling so much that you know you mm. could throw, you could throw a, a, a series about Dupe or something. You, you'll you'll get, you know, right? Um, <laughs> yeah, you know, doesn't and, matter what it is. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm sure. But but I think yeah, She Hulk was the only other monthly super female superhero title from yeah, that Marvel had, uh, unless I'm very mistaken, weird to think. But. Yeah. Yeah. It is weird. That's yeah. that's so strange. Yeah. So um why do you think also as well, I mean, why do you think Silver Sable hasn't taken off, hasn't been as big as she could? I mean, she almost got a movie with Black Cat, right? From oh, Sony. True. That's that, Silver that, and that Black would have elevated. Yeah. yeah, that would have elevated her. But why does she linger, you reckon, um in the gray area? Um, when it comes to popularity. Hmm. I wonder if it's because she does have that kind of cold, no-nonsense, mm. very logical, merc-minded approach to things, mm. which isn't, you know, in, in line with the traditional superhero stuff or or even like a yeah. Black Widow type of character who's a reformed assassin. You know, Silver yeah. Sable is still a mercenary. She's still living that life. As a matter of fact, she has to live that life because it's her it's her country's bread and butter like if she mm. doesn't work nobody in her country gets paid like the infrastructure that's, collapses that's or right. something yeah yeah that's right. very, if she doesn't very <laughs> fragile <laughs> if she doesn't hunt down these old nazi war criminals and bust up hydra then none of the roads in some carrier get fixed <laughs> oh my god yeah exactly exactly <laughs> yeah you know the water's gonna stop running the electricity yeah. runs out the utilities exactly. what's going on like <laughs> I think that but, might be another reason that she hasn't taken off is because yeah. of that, that, that kind well, of weird nugget in her origin story. Well, and, yeah. and I think too, I mean, they haven't done a lot with her solo lately. And it's like, mm-hmm. like modern times, it's like they really haven't, like, they don't do as much with like the Spider Man side characters as much these days. I've so it's that. like, yeah. yeah, like she's not even showing up there really a lot. Because. I think because they've really tapped into the well of of other spider characters. You know, ever mm-hmm. since Spider Verse and yeah. Miles Morales and Spider Gwen, it's now more about finding other spider people. We've got, you know, feel one of your favorite Spider Boy uh, coming spider out Boy, now. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> so they're Speaking focusing, <laughs> yeah, they're focusing more on that then, which is a shame because I really love the side characters in Spider Man. They got you got some of the mm. most colorful villain supporting cast um, heroes yeah. there are. So yeah, like the Prowler yeah. and all those people. The Prowler, exactly. Yeah, yeah um, definitely. Uh, trying to think of who were like um uh yeah will willow the wisp um willow the wisp <laughs> madam and web. i was, I was, I was madam web madam web yep yeah. and i've I also got i mean sorry i don't know i was gonna say yeah i mean they've been putting out those mini series more and more like set in the 90s uh, like they maybe mm. the, maybe they need to do like an anthology book and maybe focus on like some character that was big in the 90s you know for yeah. you know art i, I yeah. think I think Silver Sable is due for like I'm not to say like tentative, tentatively say like you know modernize you know how they've modernized all the characters they've given them a new spin. Um, mm-hmm. I think they should really do that with Silver Sable. I mean she's very much written as a '90s character here. I reckon you can flesh her out. Um, maybe explain why 
apart from the you know having the the whole state on her or the whole country on her shoulders you know why she is like she is and her relationship with the foreigner i reckon that's a very interesting kind of mm. dynamic i mean we know the foreigner from the 80s as well from spider-man and the things he does and for, to have like an anti-hero a merc associated with him uh, it's you know pretty interesting um as well as like her wild pack but i, I really think that they should revamp the wild pack uh because mm. i know it's only three issues but yeah they they don't seem to powell and crippler don't seem all that interesting um you, yeah you'd have to have a new lineup of the wild pack yeah yeah i mean you could yeah. still have chen i think yep. chen would still fit in the wild pack yeah. of, today but, but, uh, but i mean yeah. crippler i mean well, again it's like pow you have who's like x k k k yeah crippler yeah. didn't they say he was x hydra he, x hydra he, yeah. i think he yeah. first appeared in that um von strucker gambit uh, oh story. oh man. yeah 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 he was, yeah he was one of the hydra dudes in that one i think and then he has that whole thing where he's just like in the pain because <laughs> I think it's like, I think it's like fall from grace, like Daredevil's just like beating on him and like there's explosions. It's not the cripplers like, yeah, I just keep hitting me more and more. It's like, oh, this is creepy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Dan. Sorry, Dan. <laughs> And I felt actually, I mean, if it were to be a little bit critical, I felt that their new uniforms, although they look cool, they pretty much reminded me of the Acolytes from Magneto. Oh, um, oh yeah. Yeah. Good yeah, point. Just, yeah, they're very yeah. similar. Yeah. Yeah. But again, that's all kind of 90s flavor. But yeah, they could mm -hmm. they could do with revamp. Um, and and yeah, um, I, I think keep on having those guest stars like Spidey, bring them in, obviously to help sales, but um to have her kind of connected in the Marvel universe that way because she can very much be, I mean, she is kind of like Doom in the sense that she's very mm. kind of country country driven and yeah. that ends up kind of painting them into a corner. Um, yeah. So just yeah, she has a very more. European sensibility too about dealing with things. Oh, yeah. stay stay yeah. tuned for next episode, Ray. We're gonna cover four and five, uh, where Doom does mm -hmm. show up and it's yeah. an infinity war crossover. Yeah. Inf oh yes, love it. Infinity. Actually, that was I'm the one that that hooked me because I I bought these first three issues and I thought that they were okay, but I mm. didn't I wasn't really blown away at the time. But then when yeah. four and five would when it was just her in Doctor Doom's castle and she's making her way through this and wearing some of his armor and like kicking ass throughout this throughout Castle Doom, I was hooked. I said, I love this. This is great. This is the Silver Sable book that I want. So after that, I collected it, you know, pretty regularly for another year or so. Yep. Any any Doctor Doom appearance is always going to be good, I guess. So yeah, yeah, absolutely. definitely, absolutely. And and um, you know, on record as well of similar to this, like Infinity War for me, totally was not impressed when it first came out, but I, <laughs> I love when you guys did that that read through of it, um, Phil. Oh uh, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. You did. You covered the whole infinite. That was just so fun because it was just so cheesy and just of its time. Um, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it's yeah, yeah. I can imagine those uh, coming up issues. Justin would be really good. Um, yeah. And just looking at uh, issue two as we go, we get introduced with Crippler. Little bits here. I love how like it, it's so funny. Sandman's like you know just amusing himself, and what does he do? He makes sandcastles in his hand. Yeah, I think <laughs> like come on, you know. I, I reckon come up with something better there. Um, yeah. Okay, so you got do you guys have two issue two in front of you, both of you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, look at like that first like like was it like page two? It's like the splash page where she's mm -hmm. walking into the restaurant with the Reverend. Look at the mm -hmm. design on that dress. Is that supposed to make it uh, you know like put it in your head? No. It's like. Oh wait, is the is her top is her top see through? No, no, it's just the pattern of the dress. But I mean, there's <laughs> oh yeah, it, you know, it's like wait, is that yeah. wait, is that, wait, is that see through nipple? No, that's just the design, the pattern no, of the it. dress. Yeah, these could be cheeky, pattern. <laughs> cheeky boy <laughs> butler. Yes, the butler having fun there. It's just like oh no no yeah. no, it's just the pattern of the dress. No, no, no. Yeah, she does look that's great. In very, dress. Yeah, very elegant there. Um, I don't know if Biff Butler designed that dress, but yeah, um, yeah, interesting dress. Uh, yeah, this was <laughs> it's just really funny. You're right, Justin, about throwing out the the flowers, the roses like, out know, the window, and then shooting them. I yeah, love that. Just, part. just, so, uh, just send me the bill for the window is, if you don't yeah, mind. And she, open, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's so funny. Um, 
but yeah, yeah, I, I'd be worried about drinking any immediately after that. I'd be worried about drinking any of the champagne, like the next shot of the, yeah. you know, you'd be suspicious of everything, wouldn't you? So, um, yeah, but I, that champagne yeah. too looks like it's on fire at one point. Yeah, it does. What, what yeah. is this sulfuric acid? What's she drinking? <laughs> yeah, um, and I've got to admit though, I do like the premise of the these two part this two parter the Gatling, mm. just the whole idea of you know this reverend the evangelist and him actually being a drug runner and a competing drug runner with another event, you know, evangelist mm. and just, just whole setup. And he's come to her for protection. Um, I don't know. It just makes for a lot of really fun. Um, Cause it could potentially be very, um, I don't know, uh, tropey, uh, but yeah. uh, I think it worked well. I think it worked I, really well. I am surprised. I don't know what the climate was down there, Ray, and at mm-hmm. this point in the nineties. But it's like I, Justin. I was surprised. Not only did they go the you know the whole abortion route and stuff, mm. but it's like painting like uh, you know like whole you know like uh, religious leaders as like not the greatest of character. Yes. I'm like, oh, I'm mm, yeah. in a comic in the in a Marvel comic in the nineties. That was also yeah. very surprising for sure. Because now yeah. we know a lot of televangelists are, are are and always have been total scumbags, but mm. they had a really a really uh, stainless veneer at that time, and not a lot of people saw through it. Um, so that part was cool, definitely, and the whole uh, anti-abortion thing, the whole pro-choice thing, that was also really surprising. Just to have them address that at all in a comic yeah. book was yeah. a big deal. Yeah, I remember being yeah, really surprised I, I, by that. I mean, to be honest, I, I couldn't really comment how it was back in the nineties, like over here with that sort of stuff. Um, I guess I wasn't just really tuned into those sorts of topics, when, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, it is—I mean, just you know, obviously now, and, and you know, being a lot older, and and what we what has happened in our society, in our culture, yeah, it is very interesting to see it um, kind of be talked about in the in the nineties um, version. We didn't, we don't have. As far as I know, that many like televangelists, so it's not really a big thing mm. over here as well. But um, so yeah, for for they're all scumbag, all scumbags to us. So. Yeah, <laughs> joking. Um, well, yeah. I agree with that sentiment. Any, yeah. Anybody that's that's a, a evangelist that's a millionaire, yeah, no, you yeah, the oh, point we do. Entirely. Oh, that's yeah. the episode we need yeah. soon. Uh, ju- uh, I need a uh, J- Justin just goes off for an hour. Uh, Pat Robertson just died not too recently. I oh, mean, yeah, you know, <laughs> have to be a Patreon. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I could go on for an hour about Pat. <laughs> oh, yeah, I mean, he, he's that guy blaming natural disasters on you know gay people and just you know well oh, it's because of that you know uh, we had yeah. this, this tornado and it's like yeah, really yeah hurricane katrina or 9-11 or yeah you know, whatever um that's great did but you guys a... oh go ahead. sorry oh, i was about to say did you guys pick the because i was actually genuinely shocked when um god i'll get into these right what's his stanfield what's his name um the, the guy that they're protecting not they're oh, they're very oh what's his name it's Ch- chester yeah. feels the other guy and he is the guy that the main guy anyway the guy that silver sable's protecting smithfield um, smithfield smithfield was anyone was anyone shocked when he got like wasted by the gatling yeah because I, I was yeah i was, I was like, too i i wasn't expecting yeah. that to turn out to be sandman in disguise mm. at the end yeah yeah and think it may be Maybe Justin, that was um, a like a deliberate effort from right earlier on to have you know the the schoolgirl off in such a mm. callous way. Maybe that mm-hmm. set us up because like having read that and then have him shot down as like oh that's a bit like full on, but okay, I accept yeah. it because that's what happened with the little girl. Maybe that right. sort of thing. Um, but yeah, it was certainly shocking, and uh, it, was, it was really cool to actually have Sandman pop the bullets out and um, <laughs> and Smithfield faint because he hasn't seen like a, a superhero or superhero. Right. Superhero. Yeah, there are some legitimate yeah. deaths though in the audience in this too. When after yeah. Smithfield gets mowed down, then he just starts indiscriminately shooting into the audience, and there's this one woman that's screaming, "Oh my god!" Yeah. So yeah, I think that. Um, yeah, it, it, you're right, Ray. It's kind of set the tone for this is kind of mm. a violent a book with kind of some rougher edges to it. 
that may, maybe yeah. would have surprised some people not expecting that at the time. What do you think that's intentional to, you know, like the school girl in the first issue and just like mowing down the crowd in this one where it's like this way you're like, well, yeah, Silver Sable and her people are mercenaries, but it's like, oh, the people mm-hmm. that go against these, her, like yeah. the scum of the earth because they'll just right. like, scum. indiscriminately kill innocents and, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah. definitely. True. They'll, they'll they define the two by, by that, yeah, by the actions. Um, yeah. Just a geeky thing as well, a purely geeky thing. Sorry, guys, indulge me on this one. Um, <laughs> Sandman. I was a little bit surprised when he took off the mask. I would have thought Sandman would have been able to disguise himself using his his power. I mean, if he oh, can, if like he can fashion, yeah. I mean, if he can manipulate sand, surely to the grain, then he'd be able to manipulate how he looks, right? I'm mm-hmm. trying to remember. I thought he, I thought he has done that before. So I but, thought yeah. so too. Maybe. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't remember, but yeah, unless, I, 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 unless uh, Gregory Wright didn't remember, or maybe that was just for like visual effect to show you, oh, yeah, hey, it was the Sandman. Sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah, there's yeah. a lot of people wearing masks in this too because the foreigners wearing a, a black That's guy's right. face in another one. I'm like, ooh, they couldn't do that today. <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of stuff in this. Well, comic I, I mean, he, he, this. I can't do that. Yet. <laughs> <laughs> he, 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 he is a pretty uh I don't know I mean I don't know if you call him evil, but I mean he is a pretty well he well again he orders people's deaths and stuff. He, he, yes, well, he is yeah. an evil man, so it's yes. like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Of but I mean I mean they're not embossed, but like the I, I was impressed by this uh covers the issue two and three also. Yep. Mm. Yeah, very, very These solid. Covers covers, were great. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're very, very good. Um, yeah, I mean I can't fault the art. I'll, I did point out I'm wondering if you guys think like there was a splash page where Silver Sable's got her gun um, trained on Gatling and she's got the wall pack behind her. Oh, yeah. Um, It's a full page one. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like a totally different artist, though. Did you get that impression? Yeah. It's, um, it was weird. Just that one page was this one right here, right? Yeah. 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 Just that one. Yeah. It it does take a different artist. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder, or yeah, I wonder, or maybe that that actual page or panel was drawn yonks ago, and then they kind mm. of just, you know, fit that in. Like maybe maybe that was the first story. one that he drew for the issue. Mm. Yeah, yeah, because uh, yeah. I think uh, I think they're only crediting one penciler and one inker. So, yeah, but it's just so different. I mean, it the inking, if anything, yeah. the inking looks different. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I reckon there's a time there's a time lapse there. I reckon it must have been done way before the rest of it that's mm. my theory yeah you're probably mm. right Ray. yeah um and yeah so i mean it ends on uh a bit more bickering with crippler and powell uh but then Sa- sable yeah <laughs> there's this thing at the end as well uh she does the, this the death grip and there's crippler <laughs> going oh love the vulcan dip he's loving it <laughs> <laughs> um she's trying it's it's tantamount to like pulling their ear right she's just pulling them into line um yeah. but yeah and i like sandman's face in the background on that it's just well, it, well yeah i mean that's the whole crippler thing because even in the beginning when she comes back from having dinner with uh that what's his face and uh you know they're they're testing crippler to see if he's for the wild pack and she just like comes in and kicks it you know like knocks him on the ground there's like puts her heel on him he's like oh yeah oh yeah yeah, yeah, I know, yeah, that. yeah. Twist, yeah. twist that heel yeah <laughs> it's really and he's saying what I, I like the view from down here oh, oh yeah, 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 to, yeah that's <laughs> wearing a dress yeah that's that's another thing they can get away with today yeah, yeah. all that yeah <laughs> so yeah yeah i mean so I think for for like we're talking about like a two parter here because issue one was mm. was really like a setup. Mm-hmm. Um, I think I think it goes on at a good pace, like for two issues. Yeah. You know, it's um, I feel you know all I'm thinking of is modern modern comics would never you know that that kind of. Phrase. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But just nice, concise two two issues of this um, Gatling guy. Um, mm-hmm. it was pretty. It was pretty fun. Uh, and Silver Sable basically, you see how she keeps everyone in line. It's like you either follow orders or you're not getting paid. You're not right. getting paid. Yeah. 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 Well, these guys are, look, I, no, I mean, Sandman talks about you know, him needing the money and I think Battlestar says as well, like mm-hmm. he only make ends meet. He he does the superheroing thing. So they're kind of really needing it. Uh, I guess they right reinforces the fact that they, they can't not do this job. So, yeah. Yeah. 
And then issue three starts with a sword fight with the foreigner. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's so cool. Yeah, I, yeah. I love it. With the knight, uh, the the armor in the foreground and the chandeliers, it's like very, very Latverian. Um, yes, very kind of it, James Bond like. Yeah, too. yeah. Like it's almost like Silver Sable. It could be like a, a like a female James Bond type of character as well. Yeah, I think that, yeah. that was kind of the vibes they were going for. But yeah, just yeah. just just the uh, precise uh, fencing where like you know he rips her dress, she like. Kind of like rips yeah. his bow tie off and stuff. Yeah, yeah, and of course she's fighting in. Yeah, exactly, and she's fighting in an evening dress as well. So it all <laughs> makes for that kind of, you know, the and it, what surprised me as well. He's got this hypnotic power. Um, his power to kind of. Yeah, I wonder if like um, Gregory Wright fight was the one to explain that because I think I know when Spider Man fought him earlier, he's like he's like is he teleporting what is he doing because he would he mm. seem to be in one place and all of a sudden he'd be over here yeah yeah right okay yeah yeah um, he's like the shadow so he can cloud men's minds yes well so the, silver the, sable the shadow knows she's silver sable yeah. in that dress so can she yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I thought this right up until including uh, the kick through the stained glass window. Oh, I really yeah, enjoyed. I, think, yeah. I just enjoyed this interaction. I thought this was a great opening scene for issue three. It was a good way to to show the relationship between the two and and for her to extract information yeah. uh, without him really telling too much. It was really good. And 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 as I said, towards the end, uh, he pulls her in for a kiss and then mm -hmm. she kind of swings it around and yeah. puts him like underneath her. Uh, it was pretty funny. Yeah. I love that part. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. But um, yeah, yeah. And then we get that. I mean, we get Battlestar, which makes sense too, because, you know, he, I, it was at, uh, I think that was the Watchdog's first appearance. Him and John Walker had like the first interaction mm, with the Watchdogs. Yes. Yes, yeah. definitely. We that hadn't was, seen cool Battlestar run. for yeah. a while. He had, he had gone through a, uh, a bunch of stuff in the Captain America backups mm -hmm. for a while. Yeah. Uh, but he hadn't really been focused prominently since then. So it was nice. It was really good to see him put into a team setting where he could do some good yeah i love that and i i yeah. mean i mean yeah he has history with the watchdogs because again that first mm -hmm. year they they tried to lynch him you know hey. yeah yes oh man well they that did didn't true. they didn't they lynch him or something they didn't did they like, did have they, they had the news out yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 God, it was, Mark it was pretty heavy i remember punches. yeah that no, was so heavy and, that... and then the watchdogs were the ones who murdered john walker's parents yeah. Oh, yeah. parents yeah that yeah. was like i remember reading it going oh my god this is really yes. dark yeah <laughs> Yeah, speaking yeah. of, I mean, I think it was kind of like in shadow, but it's like, oh, yeah, you see like bullets ripping through like figures. Mm. Yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah. You could, that was really good because you, I mean, just on a tangent, you really did feel for John Walker then. Like mm -hmm. at the beginning, like when he fought Cap and stuff as, um, what was he just? Called Super Patriot. Patriot. I can't remember. Super, Super Patriot. Patriot. Super Patriot. He was just yeah. an, he was just annoying, like annoying yeah. and just like being a bit of an ass. But um yeah. uh, seeing his parents and, and all that back history, oh, it was such a great run, that one. It's good. Yeah. So good. Um, yeah, anyway, so Battlestar, uh, he's a bit surprised that Silver Sable knows all the intel on him already. Look, a shock. Like, oh, how did you know like my his name? name? Like his name and his stuff. His real name yeah. and yeah. where he lives. Yeah. Yeah. And so here, I thought it would have been a, it would have been good because at the moment, realistically, with the wild pack, if you look at the next page, we know Power Crippler, and as you said, Justin, there's a couple of mentions of Chen, but there are two other members as well. Um, Quintino. Yeah, Quinto. Yeah, I, I, I think they needed to delve a little bit more into it. Like Quintino does factor in a little bit more, but there's no real interesting bits to him um mm. but yeah yeah in so, the beginning yeah him and yeah. Chan are very oh, kind of like background yeah oh how does it how does it factor on later on justin you know um down the track i can't remember from the issues quintino, got, like... if i remember it quintino had like some gang ties okay and they were they were hitting him up for for something i can't remember what and he kept okay. trying to hide it from sable and it ended up blowing up in his face something along those lines Okay, yeah. oh, that's, that's pretty good. So it's a bit of a slow burn then. Like, I guess right, yeah. he's got these characters that he will reveal slowly ac uh, across mm -hmm. the series. Fair enough, fair enough. Yeah. Um, 
yeah, I, I just thought immediately they were just like fodder. Like, you know, here we go. Mm. And they're all going to die in some point, and <laughs> Powell and Crippler are going to be the only survivors. But, yeah. Um, yeah, and this is where we get uh, the, the, I guess, the torture sequence with Crippler and one of the watchdogs. Um, he kind of buckles pretty quickly. Once they tell him that the watchdogs were being used and it's about dealing drugs to young kids, like the the watchdog mm. kind of goes, "Oh gosh, oh god, I didn't realize." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now that you <laughs> mentioned that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, another scene to show off Kribler. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. yeah, doing what he does best, beating up people. I mean, that's a good yes. interrogator because I mean, you pretty pretty quickly you realize, yeah. I mean, he'll he'll do whatever he has to. You know, he yeah. loves pain, so yeah. 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 No, exactly, exactly. Uh, and there we go, Justin, um, the foreigner, <laughs> masked. Um, yeah. Sorry, this, later on. Yeah. Um, yeah this was not disguised yeah. with what it, is it? Chesterfield, Chesterfield, Chesterford. Sorry, the uh, the rival. Mm -hmm. But he he like yeah he kind of buys it. Um. So yeah, he gives him some um, chloramine tea modified into a cyanide derivative and cut into Peruvian flake. Effective, effective within, within 60 seconds. Yeah. 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 So he's gone. Wow. Um, that's the end of that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And a bit more of Gatling. I love it how the random kids just spot him. Um, <laughs> like, oh, what's that? There's a dude with guns. Oh, it must be a hologram. It's, it's almost uh, like a, a callback to Predator. The, the yeah. kids seeing the Predator up in the trees and then he. Uh, <laughs> well, I think, I, yeah, I got the sense of that with Gatling anyway. Like, he's got the in invisibility. The invisibility kind of, thing, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we saw in a previous issue too. Um, yeah, so the watchdogs come in and, they're, you know, they're fighting and all that, which is pretty cool. I, I enjoyed the fight scene. I thought that was pretty good. The foreigner, of course, makes a an appearance. Like when any, whenever any, like, underling or minion seems to have more than one or two um, lines, you, you know, that they're going to... So he's in the distance go, oh, I, I shan't be needed here. And while they're fighting, you, it's like, this is not language for a normal foot soldier. Um, but it turns out to be the foreigner. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, no, great action towards the end there, I think. Um, yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah. The, good the, art, good the, art, too. The flying gun battle between uh, Silver and mm. uh, Gatling as they're both, you know, they're both jetpacking around New York City. Yeah. And he's got lots of Gatling guns, I've got to say. My God, I didn't realize. He's got like double barreled Gatling double guns. Double barreled, barreled on each yeah. hand. And he's that got mini Gatling. Like... Yeah. You know, they must weigh like a ton. And he's got it, two like, mini. Yeah many gatlings on top of them as well so too more many, guns too many. on top of guns <laughs> well i mean it, i mean it is denied these two i mean silver's not carrying a little gun either that's true i know that's an awesome shot i like that i actually. love that yeah this art in this in this action sequence at the end is fantastic it kind yeah, of really gave good. me some um ron Lim vibes a little bit mm. Mm. oh i love ron Lim. yeah yeah me too yeah um, one of the things to note here as well, I thought was really cool, was the overly heroics from Battlestar as well. She, he surprises oh, yeah. the Sable. He just jumps off the plane um, and goes down with Gatling. Um, stories and you know, stories and stories down on the ground. Um, and he's normal, right? He's not. He's not got the super soldier serum, or he's no. He has the strength augmentation that the, the same thing USA. Oh, would, but yeah, that from the that um, malice. The Do Dr. Malice, right? Oh, the power broker. The okay. power yeah, broker, yeah. yeah. Because Silver, Sa I thought, I thought so. Because, but Silver Sable or someone says, you know, you haven't got this or that. Like she, she berates him because, oh yeah, um, what does she say? Uh, uh, yeah, she goes, yeah, good man. If you ever try stunt like that again without a uh, parachute, augmented strength or not, I'll find you two weeks. Yeah, mm. yeah. So I thought she was kind of alluding to the fact that. Um, yeah, but anyway, you're right. Yeah, I mean, because I mean, yeah, he has augmented him. strength, but I mean, he could still yeah. get killed. That you know, falling out of a yeah. plane crowd. Sure. Yeah, yeah, especially from that height. Yeah. <laughs> of course. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but but then it kind of ends abruptly. Like I'm looking at mm. a, a digital, and that page thirty is that's it. There's not even yeah, a yeah. little. Oh, you don't have page thirty one. No, I don't. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. Okay. Oh. oh, so what? Um... Oh, is Battlestar on the last page for you? Is that what you're saying, Ray? 
Uh, the last page I got is when she's on, she's berating him on top of the the roof. Oh, the, okay, yeah. There, there's a wrap up page, a page thirty. There is a wrap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's only oh, one okay. page, but it does kind of tidy up everything. Yeah, they get their okay. money and and. Oh, okay. um, oh well, well, it's, they, I guess they. Uh, I guess she made a deal with the FBI to take uh, Smithfield. Sm- Smithfield, got- yeah, he gets hauled away. Yeah. Right. Because yeah, this is completely like, unethical. You have no proof. I'll see you in court, Miss Sable. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> then the very last panel is like an FBI agent handing S- Silver a check. He's like, "Thank you again for your help, Miss Sable. Expensive, but always worthwhile." Oh, that's a pretty. That's a pretty good wrap up. Then that's really mm-hmm. good because we know that Smithfield's a bit of a um is is a rat. Uh-huh. So mm-hmm. it's good that he gets his just desserts as well. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. That's good. So she basically yeah. sells them out to the FBI. Yeah. 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 She's That's like good. the people of Simcaria. Thank you. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, we can build a park in our. Uh, <laughs> yes. We can but that's really cool because public park. This library yeah. brought to you by the F- the uh, <laughs> yeah, United exactly. States F- Federal Bureau of Investigation. <laughs> yeah. Because she has a, like she does have like a you know a, a twisted kind of sense of justice. It, it's very it is very much about the money. But mm-hmm. we did see with her like cousin slash niece or whatever. Um, that she does have moral compass, so yes. that's good. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, I, th- I yeah. think that's good because, like, you know, and if you're reading a story, you're like, okay, is she gonna do? You know, what is she gonna do? Because it's something. It's not always clear, so it's like, mm-hmm. mm. yeah, no, no, agreed. But I okay, so okay, so uh, as connoisseurs of '90s comics, I want to ask you guys, what do you like better? Do you like like the Punisher, where except for like maybe Microchip, he's more of a loner, or do you like this this Silver Sable formula where she has a team behind her? I like the team better. He's up there. For, yeah. Sorry, I said Justin. What was that? And you froze up there I, for a sec. I like the team setting better, personally. Yeah, I like the team better. I don't. The loner approach doesn't work for this type of character for me. Yeah. Okay. And um, sorry, Phil, you're saying like the Punisher. Comparing like what do you like better? Silver... Do you like do you like a solo character like the Punisher, or do you like the Silver Sable formula where she has like a team behind her? Oh uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I'm kind of partial to both. I do like the Lone Wolf sometimes. It's just pretty cool to focus in on just the one. Um, but I I do like how Silver Sable has that support network, um, and mm. there's so much opportunity then for a writer or creator to then flesh out on that and mm-hmm. um, make it really interesting. Because yeah, um, the limitations of having one character, say the Punisher. I mean, he's great, but you'd you'd have to introduce like trans transitory. Is that right? Transitional trans. You know, characters that come in. Um, to to create a bit of difference all the time, mm-hmm. um, if you need to. But yeah, because I, I love the the Black Widow stuff. You know, yeah, she's mm. essentially by herself, uh, and it's just so interesting. But especially, well, then when her her um, when Yelena arrives as well. But mm. um, yeah, the loan the loan stuff is yeah, I think it's pretty good. Maybe I prefer that. H- how about you, Phil? I mean, I kind I kind of like this for me. Like I said, I forgot how much I enjoyed. I, I I even enjoyed it more than I know than I did like the first time I read this stuff. Uh, but now you just mentioned Black Widow. I wonder if like you know this Silver Sable in the Wild Pack series helped them late years later be like, oh yeah, hey, let's do more mm. stuff with Black Widow and stuff because. Mm. Well, Black Widow at this stage was really, I mean, the, the Avengers were kind of struggling uh, around this time, I, I think, yeah. um, compared to the ex, the, the mutants and all that. And mm-hmm. Black Widow was very much like a support or like a team character. Um, she, she was pretty much, yeah, just in the Avengers book because, yeah, she yeah. was doing a lot. Yeah, she, Daredevil she was even the, I think she was even the leader of the Avengers for a while around this point in time. Maybe well, yeah, when later. Captain America wasn't there, yeah, it was Black yeah. Widow, yeah. Yeah, right. but you're right. I, I definitely think Silver Sable may have assisted in that. As Justin said, like she's one of the few female characters back in the day to have a solo thirty plus run, which is mm. bloody good. So especially, yeah, yeah a, a non super powered uh, female character, right? Yeah, and mm. not yeah. X related, not not X related, yep. not Avengers related. You yep. know, that's that's also big. Yeah. Although it is, it wasn't going to be. It is the ninety. She is a Spider-Man related character. Well, so. yeah. yeah, that's true. But but she doesn't lean <laughs> too heavily on him. Yeah, like, yeah, know, yeah. Right. Issue one, and yeah, I, I think he appears maybe two more times throughout the course of this series, if oh, I remember that's right. Pretty good. 
But again, so, it's not yeah. just the 90s, so Spider-Man yeah. is in, in and out of everybody's books. So. Yeah. But still, for, for 30 some odd issues, that's not too bad. Yeah, she didn't. Yeah. She wasn't plagued with this big litany of, of guest stars like a lot of the other 90s books were. Mm. She 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 had her own thing going for a while. And, and I remember that Gregory Wright did some really cool things with her as far as delving into her past and her oh. relationship with her dad because her dad was the one who started the wild pack and yes. she kind of inherited the family business from him and all this other stuff so mm -hmm. gregory white did some some um some cool stuff with that as well in the story in the issues to come yeah yeah and no, i'm actually looking forward to reading more of this um yeah, I'm glad that there's a whole chunk of issues that we can read. And I want to reread yeah. that other one again um, that came out in the like the, the 2000s. Mm, that one shot, that yeah. One -off? Oh, so yeah, good. yeah, it was good. So, yeah. yeah. I yeah. remember for a while I was joking about uh, there was one of the variant covers of that issue that, that I loved. And I was, I was joking for a while with my partner about getting a mock-up, a digital mock-up of that to cover with our cat, one of our cats' face superimposed <laughs> with where silver sable's face is <laughs> <laughs> because her fur her fur is silver so it would you know it completely uh, makes sense it worked totally works <laughs> <laughs> you know there was um just a little bit of a sidetrack just in valiant comics they actually they did release a whole set of variant covers with cats dressed up oh, as no the kidding. superheroes. Oh, yeah, I love it, it. Really, it was really good. Yeah, I got I'll a couple have to of check them. That out. Yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> just random. It's like they just decided to do it. It was. <laughs> yeah. I love it. What a great idea! All right, so what's better, variant covers or uh, gimmick covers like the like this? <laughs> Give me oh, covers, give me covers. Give me yes. covers. Foil em, give me the foil boss. Give me the holograms. Give me the yeah. scratch and sniff. I don't care. Scratch oh! and sniff. <laughs> glow in the dark. Oh, glow yeah. The dark. I've got some yeah. great glow in the dark covers. Yeah. Oh. Probably Again, look. The famous ones is that Ghost Rider cover. Mm, and the yes. Spectre from the oh, 90s. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There were three I, of those. I, I'm going to call out also as well Valiant again pioneers and variants um mm. they released a, a metal like a literally a metal cover oh yeah you were telling me about that yeah yeah and How more recently that? i don't know but more recently a glass cover what like was, yeah they're going crazy How? they're changing yeah Oh, I could see I things how... going wrong there. I, I know. I know. <laughs> yeah. Just order order me a copy on Amazon, chip it over. <laughs> Crack. <laughs> Next we're gonna get um yeah. like ruby encrusted covers. Oh, like yeah. they're gonna have fine jewels embossed oh. and laid into these covers. They're gonna get really <laughs> designer here pretty soon, guys. Exactly. You can have this this edition for only two hundred and fifty dollars. Oh god. Yeah. Oh god. Yeah. There is a nice, um, I just got to say, the upcoming Predator versus Wolverine. There's a really cool set of double covers, um, which are cover price, and they are riffing off, you know, the famous Wolverine Hulk cover with mm. Wolverine's claws yeah. and Hulk. Action and in the claws, yeah. Yep. So they got one of the, nice. the Wolverine doing that with the Predator in the claws, and they then they've reversed it with the Predator um, and him. And it with the claws and Wolverine on its claws. It's oh, cool. cool. Okay. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, I love that. Yeah. Listeners, go grab that. Just grab it. Yeah. Oh, hey, oh, hey, Ray. Speaking of uh, Predator, uh, I know I keep bugging you about the Predator Batman crossover, but Lilf was like, you know, he's done other crossovers like Predator and Archie. I know Lilf would die. Oh, yeah. 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 Predator yeah, and Archie. Yeah. I forget that about a, that one. Very yeah. strange tale, that one. Lilith but yes, Lilith would be down to do that one. Yeah, <laughs> but they did it twice as well. <laughs> there's they did? Um, Predator and Archie two. Like, really? A, yeah. Oh, that's so funny. Yeah. yeah, I love it. Uh, but yeah, let's. We should do it, Justin. We, we've got to figure yes. it out. How we can we'll we do that it. We're just so yeah. Exactly. Yeah, Phil. We're just so lucky at the moment. We've got a. Um, uh, an ongoing series and well a series um that's kind of wrapped up but we've we've got the predator and wolverine series coming out yeah. so good and another good, omnibus uh, next year and yeah 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 yeah, yeah. So yeah. Much plenty but yeah when you do plenty. want to do some crossovers let me know batman mm -hmm. my favorite character 
<laughs> you know who I'll be rooting for. That's all I'm saying. So. Yeah, well, yeah, you know, me and Finn will be rooting for the other guy. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to fix that. That's a work in progress. Come on, a work in progress. <laughs> like I gotta go back and uh, finish that deep hypnosis. No, <laughs> exactly. Oh, <man. laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah, I mean, I'm glad I'm glad we picked these issues, Justin. Because it, yeah, it's yeah. Like I I remembered like the highlights of this stuff, but I, I I'd forgotten like all like the smaller details. Well, I'm sure you do, Phil. I'm sure you do. The highlights. <laughs> oh yeah. Mm. <laughs> and the headlights. And the oh! headlights. <laughs> Her eyes are up there, Phil. Her eyes are up there. <laughs> Oh, don't don't act like you're some choir boy, Ray. It's <laughs> on the mind. <laughs> uh, pumpy, pumpy. <laughs> hey, they're just terms I know. That's all. We know who we know who you are, Ray. The hard master. <laughs> Shocking. Uh, <laughs> Exciting times to be a pimp. <laughs> <laughs> all right <laughs> any any uh final thoughts on the on these gentlemen and ray <laughs> <laughs> uh no J yeah, justin well, i just yeah i really enjoyed these these have have aged very well most of most of it like there's some 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 bits that can be taken out for today's standards but <laughs> like like, yeah. like Forder, like right. okay. yeah, exactly yeah. <laughs> and maybe maybe the child killing could get toned down a little bit too <laughs> like <laughs> just, just, that was another thing I was like he's stabbing that girl to death like what the yeah. hell <laughs> oh but yeah. Um, yeah I really enjoyed it and it's still Silver Sable is a great character, and she's she's a lot more complex than I think a lot of people realize. So, as this yeah. series progresses, we get to see a lot more of that, and yeah, it'll be fun to to cover all of that eventually. Yeah, I've got to totally, absolutely back what Justin said. I think Justin said it to a T. Uh, there's a lot more to her than originally thought, and like yourself, Phil, I I really enjoyed this read. Um, I appreciated it a I'm lot sure more now. Did, Ray. I'm sure you did. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, sometimes I had to like the pages stuck together. I had to kind of really, really oh! try them. He pulled, yeah, he pulled, he pulled out this issue from when he was fifteen years old. Yeah, that page yeah, exactly. Yeah. Read, read reader copy. Read, read <laughs> copy. <laughs> um, <laughs> but it was really good, and yeah, she she's a underrated character that I think deserves a lot more attention. Um. And yeah, I'm looking forward to actually reading this as well. I, I would recommend it. Look, it's not it's not like I don't know what do people Watchmen or what's it, whatever you know. It's not yeah, it's, it's not going to yeah. be up there as you know your highbrow comic books, um, yeah. where they go. But this is it's just fun, and there's enough in there to keep you interested and to to have a bit of depth to it. Mm -hmm. um, although yeah, although I did mention about characters. Uh, Perhaps, as Justin says later on, they do, they do get fleshed out. So um, it's just it's slow burn with that regards. Yeah. But yeah, it, it's really good. I really liked it. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I was just uh, looking here. Uh, well, let me see if I can. There's uh, I don't know if you can see the Venom Lethal Protector Two cover. Oh, oh that's the new one. Oh, yeah. cool. Yeah, I'm not I'm picking that up, unfortunately. Text. Just way too much. I might have to catch that on Marvel it, it, Unlimited. It's done, yeah. I think it was only like it was only like five. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Again, it's another one of those mini series set in the nineties. So they're doing more and more of those lately. I like it. Yeah, because she's kind of mm. working with nineties Venom and even mm -hmm. like Nick Fury and old Nick Fury and Shield show up and stuff. Mm. So yeah, and and Doctor Doom. So ooh, yeah. very cool. I will definitely yeah. be reading that. Surprisingly, Doom tries to steal someone's powers. He tries to steal that symbiote. What? Set. Really? No. No, no. Not Dr. Doom, not Vic. It's so out of character for him. It's so out of character. <laughs> Jeez. He must have been going through a midlife crisis. Uh, All right, Doom. A bit of flavor. Sorry. <laughs> but speaking of Dr. Doom, he'll be here next episode. Yes. yes as we cover Silver Sable yes. and the Wild Pack 4 and 5 in the middle of Infinity War. As yeah. Silver's having dinner with Doctor Doom, and all of a sudden his Infinity War double ganger shows up. 
You can see, you just can't tell with Doom. Doppelganger, is it a Doom bot? Like, he's just... Mm. Oh, you don't know which Doom you're dealing with. So oh, you exactly. Know. Me and Lilith are always yeah. talking about those horny Doom bots. Yeah, because <laughs> I know we could... Like, a, I don't know, it was like two years ago or something, we covered a, uh, an X-Men arc, you know, when he, like, captures some of the X-Men, and he's like... It's like a horny Doom bot, like, hitting on Storm and stuff. And... <laughs> but that's the bot hitting on Storm, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. This. <laughs> God. <laughs> That's the way Doom programmed him. Oh, jeez. <laughs> An exact duplicate. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Speaking of uh, horny automatons, yes, uh, we all know what Wilf is working on while she's on vacation in September. Uh, yeah. Yeah, she's, she's, working, she's, yes. she's trying to perfect sex bots, right? She, the, she, that she, prototype. She, yeah, yeah, she'll tell you. Yeah, ask That's her. Fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah. I mean, if the tape is almost done. If you want to throw, wow. in, if you want to throw in some capital, Ray, I mean, she, I mean, you can get one of the first ones. I mean, she's working on, uh, you know, male and female. So, right. You, you just yeah, cool. Either you gentlemen, I, I, you know what I told her, Ray. I said, you know, you really want to hit up by uh, a horny customer who would uh, go for that. I'm like, uh, go hit up Dave Finn for. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> He will be the I'm first like... one to buy. Yeah, yeah, Stay yeah. tuned for uh, episodes of Scarlet Spider. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just have one fashion like Jennifer Love Hewitt. And yes! Oh. <laughs> or, Mar- or Marlene from Moon Knight. Marlene, you know? yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, geez, I don't know what to say about Lilith's um, side uh side scheme um so she's trying to build the perfect man you know someone who will give her yeah. sex and won't talk you know that's what she said <laughs> you just hit a button and oh. they won't start they'll just stop talking awesome well <laughs> all right i look forward to the progress <laughs> <laughs> is that a sentient tongue wow. <laughs> is that a sentient tongue you know that's part of the testing process too oh oh my yeah no. of course uh, oh you don't want to know the things i've done <laughs> <laughs> all right all right you're here we're here you know i have to hit the uh frank miller button uh justin yep. oh. a whore! <laughs> yeah mother, i love that accent that's great i know it's just like <laughs> what is the theme of most frank miller stories your mother's a whore <laughs> <laughs> it's 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 so funny, but it is kind of true, isn't it? <laughs> it's, yeah. it's like, All right, so Grace busy playing Marvel Snap and not this listening to our yeah. shows. Champions, uh, <laughs> champions. I'm sorry. All right, yeah, so yeah. you know Russell tried to in, uh, do, do his own version of that, and I don't think it came out as well. Well, it was like, nah, he definitely. Like, Your mother's a whore. Oh gosh, jeez! It sounds like it sounds like Linda. Was it Linda Blair from The Exorcist? <laughs> Scary. <laughs> oh, geez. That, that, it's about midnight here. That's going to give me nightmares. <laughs> Sleep with one eye open tonight, Ray. <laughs> exactly. That's, that's terrifying. What, that's what Lilith said. She goes, I don't think we're going to top Lilith's version unless like, we get Frank Miller to do that himself. Yeah. That was, my God. Oh. Traumatized. The first time Russell heard that back, he just about died. He was like, is that me? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. so so good. T- <laughs> the whole family can suck it. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, kids. Uh, yeah, so Silver Sable and the Wild Pack 4 and 5 next time. Uh, thank you, Ray, for joining yes, us. Thank for you, Ray. When, when are you us? doing this Late Silver Sable? I don't know. When are when doing... are we, what are we going to yeah. do? Uh, I mean, oh, we could have if we want to do it again next week at the same time, we could have Ray back for that one. No, we're doing Scarlet Spider this time next week. Yeah. Oh, oh, never mind. Okay. I mean, unless, uh, I mean, we could do it our Saturday night. What's your Sunday morning look like? What's your Sunday morning look like? Yeah, it, it, I'm sorry. It is a little bit hard with the newborn. Yeah. That's all. Mm, um, I so, figured, yeah. Yeah, yeah so late I mean, nights are good any, for me. Yeah. If anything, send in feedback, right? Mm. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah, yeah. we'd love to hear it. Yeah. So yeah, but thank you for your time, Ray. Uh, no worries. Uh, yes, he is busy, and it, don't let him tell you it's kids. Uh, but so besides, <laughs> when, when you're not playing, uh, snap. Your yes, <laughs> snap. I love. I, I love. Him. I'm just like you're not snap. <laughs> just another game. <laughs> But no, kids, believe unbelievably, he does do podcasting too. So yes, Ray, uh, what what are those podcasts? Uh, th- thank you very much, Phil. Um, those podcasts, all, all, all proud members of the collective. All right, yeah, proud members. Yeah. Of the collective. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just 
uh, check out at Ray Ray Pod on Twitter or X or whatever it's bloody these days. Um, <laughs> is it called X these? Anyway, I whatever. think it is. Yeah. Oh yeah, I mean yeah. Check I mean, me out yeah. on X um, at Ray Ray Pod or just Ray Ray Pod. Just look it up on Facebook as well. Uh, doing the Moon Knight podcast into the night. The Moon Knight podcast. Uh, Justin and Phil. Uh, um, friends of the show, co-hosts as well. Um, they they really help pull the show along. Um, it was really fun to know. As if you heard the Spider Woman podcast as well with Sarah, and she's fantastic. Always brings the energy. She just loves Spider Woman. Um, yep. Yeah, so l- just listen to her. Don't listen to me. Uh, and uh, I do one with with Justin and, and Russell and uh, semi uh, regular co-host Sparky Malaki on Predator and Prey. The I'm going to say Yaucha podcast. Yes. I think it's the only one out there, exclusively so Predator. Yeah. Uh, and we're hoping to go like bi-weekly, uh, fortnightly. Uh, we were monthly, but we do have current series and we do have the omnibus classic mm-hmm. tales. We we got some feedback um, from from people and they're saying like, yeah, we'd love to if you guys covered more of the classic stuff. So yeah, we're going to try and fit that in as well. Uh, yeah. As well, Phil mentioned it, Scarlet Spider. I'm on there with uh, with Phil. Uh, gracious host and the inimitable Dave Finn. Uh, go listen to it. Just put some cotton wool in your ears. Uh, Dave does like to get a little bit colourful, um, but it's a yeah. lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Catch that at the end of every month. Me, Ray, yeah. Dave, and the ghost of Gardner Fox. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's a lot of meat. <laughs> it's a lot of meat. It's, 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 it's... <laughs> Sausage. <laughs> oh, we start every episode for pretty much. Dave goes, "Hey, Ray, sacrifice any virgins to conch you." Uh, yeah, absolutely, <laughs> Dave loves. He loves it. The fact that there's a Moon Knight podcast. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right, so all right, so Justin, uh, Ray did half your plug. So uh, you want to plug yes. Gamma Charge? The, Gamma Charge, the strongest podcast there is, is uh, twice a month. And we're also covering the brand new a series by Philip Kennedy Johnson and Nick Klein, The Incredible Hulk, which is excellent. If you haven't checked it out, please do so. And we also have a Patreon, and you're definitely welcome to check that out. We do bonus episodes once a month and requests from our Patreons as well. And I'm not going to jinx anything, but The Lost Library of Legends is coming Ooh. soon. Hopefully I won't Justin. have any more ki- kidney stones or... Yeah, that sounded computer very failures or anything like that. Um, but the Lost Scream Library it. of Legends, Justin, it is building a reputation. It is building, yeah. building, and building. I can't wait to listen to it. Seriously, thank you. Yeah, it's, it's Ho- be hopefully it'll be in the next few weeks. Hopefully, I I, I don't want to jinx nice. myself because every time I say I'm almost done, something crazy happens and sets me back. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I, I mean, I don't want to talk out of school, but yeah, he's building a reputation as like the male little hellfire. So, yeah. Oh, well, I'm <laughs> <a> powerful rod. <laughs> yeah. That's, you know, that's a, a badge of honor. Phil. It is. Honor. I'm very proud of that. Cock a doodle doo. Oh yeah, in our show, yeah. Uh, so, uh, yeah. If you want to hear more, Justin is on Marvel Tales every week. Well, twice a week in September. Twice a week in September. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and, and, yes. Uh, and you know, he's on the uh, the last episode of every month on uh, We Are the Night, the Batman podcast yep. to talk uh, Asriel. Don't worry, Ray. Uh, yes. Keep it going. Can you make it longer? Like, just, you know. Oh, yes. Keep that going. We're actually, yeah. we're going to be covering the Asriel series. At oh, the yeah. Starting in yeah, January. Lovely. Yeah. Once we get past the, like, the rest of the nightfall and yeah, stuff. The, yeah. We're going to get to the on, uh, the ongoing Asriel series. So. Dennis so O'Neill. Yeah. So starting in January, there will only be three Batman episodes a month, right? And then one Asriel episode. So. Yeah. Yes. And You're I squeezing know. him out of existence. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure Russell wants to join us for those Asriel uh, yeah. issues. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. yeah. He's a fan. Yeah. So, yeah, that. And then, but besides those, yes, uh, me, Justin, and now Mr. Tyler Patrick, twice a month, we're doing Electric Mullet. Electric the Mullet. Podcast. Yes. yes. Yeah, dropped into one of those. Yeah, it sounds like a lot of fun. Tyler's oh, yeah. Man Cave. My God. We're going oh, in. Oh, God. I know. I know. Amazing. Can you, can you like Superman? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> But yeah, I mean we're, that one we're going in just like with me and Will on Green Lantern. We're going in uh, chronological order. So we started with John Burns, Man of Steel in 1986, and we're going in order. So 
interesting. Yeah, nice. Did does Connor um jump in? Does he? Um, no, I, I just wonder. Oh, you just started. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We really, mm. we've only recorded three yeah, episodes yeah. and we've, yeah, we've been yeah. doing evening. So I don't know what Connor's schedule is like, nah, but, uh, yeah. but I think, uh, Tyler did say, uh, we might get in a guest appearance the next episode with Mr. James Cole. So, mm. oh, yeah, he did something. Yeah. 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 Nice. Another Superman fan. So, yeah. So find, uh, yes, that's there, but, uh, yeah, send us your thoughts on all the stuff, including that upcoming Silver Sable, Ray. Uh, email us, capesayalunatics at gmail.com or call the voicemail 614-382-2737. That's 614-38-CAPES. And remember, you can find all things Capes and Lunatics, episodes, social media, merchandise. Uh, link to our Patreon. Uh, join the Patreon elite. Like uh, We have two of them That's here. Right. And yes. also Russell and Moz Manzor. Uh, so join the Patreon elite because right now you can get Every drunken thought Lil Hellfire has about yeah. Heroes Reborn on Patreon. So I'm going through that methodically. I went through the Fantastic Four one. I'm going through the Avengers one now. Uh, so, Lil, if you aren't safe, I am listening. <laughs> can't, wait. can't wait to hear it. And I feel privileged again, being a Patreon elite member, I can hear this. So, listeners, tune in. Uh, let me it. just say it is absolutely worth it so, totally. yeah you're gonna be surprised at the end ray because the one she picks as her least favorite will surprise you mm, oh, it surprised me yeah. yeah well she's already punked you right um with with some stuff <laughs> well, so... well the fantastic four seconds not so bad <laughs> <laughs> exactly so yeah okay yeah i'm okay i'm can't wait can't wait to hear yeah come on get your head out of your butt buddy <laughs> <laughs> lilith <laughs> Lubricated eels are the best. <laughs> she in the studio? It's... I wonder if my wrist is ready for that. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Phil, this is, you do have enough. This is right. You can pretend that there's an AI. I know. I don't know why she, totally. she was off for a month. I could have just did an episode. It'd be like, you know. What do so, you know? It's like, what do you what do you think of this, love? Very hard, very tempting. Oh, <laughs> just, just to tell him the ongoing uh, joke now. Will well, knows, yeah. but uh, yeah, the ongoing joke now is right. It's like if we say something and if you think it fits, you end the sentence with just like at Lilith's house. <laughs> okay, okay. Like you know, you're reading a, you're, you're reading all the issue, you're like, hey, there's a lot of sex and murder in this issue. Yeah, ah, yeah. just like at Lilith's house. Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. That's the I'm gonna try joke. and yeah. I'm gonna try and uh, filter that into my shows. Yes, well. please. Yeah, nice. yeah. Yes. Let's, let's keep it growing. Let's let it become a cultural yeah. kind of you know phrase. Know yeah, yeah, viral phenomenon. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this Lilith? It started here. <laughs> oh, just like a capes and lunatics little hellfire's house. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, you can get the plug in. Yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for joining us, everyone. Thank you, Ray. Yes, thank you, Ray. Thank you. No, thanks, hopefully, guys. Always a pleasure. We can have you back. Yeah, See I'd you. love to. Thanks. Love this Marvel Tales. Love it. Marvel Tales. Really. Discover I discovered a formula. Ray is always busy until you pick one of his favorite characters or like a hot mm. female character. A uh, female character. And all of a sudden that schedule <laughs> opens up. Yeah. Let's just say, let's just say, Phil, you cracked the equation. <laughs> Dude, at some point in the future when we do some tiger kids. <laughs> oh, there, I'm there, you know. <laughs> it's a black cat. <laughs> yeah. Sign me up. <laughs> That's all right. We were doing some uh, Justice League and Justice Society stuff, uh, Justin. And wouldn't you know it? Just by coincidence, Ray was there for those like black uh, black canary ish 